What is going on guys? This is Game with Red and I just want to do a quick video. Uh, I just picked up this game that came out on Tuesday, the Disney Afternoon Collection. It includes six classic Capcom um, Disney games, uh, which uh, we'll go through the games in a second. Um, we'll start, I'll show you the rest of the stuff here. We'll start with the games first. I'm just going to do uh, a quick run through. Uh, we got DuckTales from 1989, which is, these are all the original NES releases. There's no remasters. Um, it's all the original in classic form. Uh, it does work well with the controller, with the analog sticks. It came out on Xbox One, PS4, and I think PC and Steam. I'm not sure uh, if those two, you know, if it's on PC and everything else. I know it's on Xbox and PlayStation. Anyways, we got uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers from 1990, uh, Tailspin from 1991, Darkwing Duck 1992, DuckTales 2, which is a rare game, uh, hard to find if you have an NES, which is 1993, and Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, 1994. So we're going to go right into it. I'm going to show you DuckTales first. Uh, if you played the remaster, you pretty much know where you're getting here. It's just not remastered and pretty. Well, I mean, it's still a good looking game. It holds up. Uh, considering how old it is. Uh, so here are the modes you get. You get play mode, which is playing the regular game. Time attack, which it records how long it's taking you. Um, and then there's a leaderboard for it. There's boss rush, which you try to beat well, how many, however many bosses are in the game, all timed to uh, get on the leaderboard. And then there's obviously how to play. The new thing they added here, which is kind of cool, is they added a rewind feature, which like many of the new re-releases or retro games they brought back, They've added the rewind to help out because some of these games, let's face it, were pretty hard. So as you can see, this is the faithful NES version of the game running flawlessly. Uh, I did see some slowdown on some of the boss attack and time modes, but they are recording our gameplay, which many people probably don't even realize. But uh, as you play it, they record it so that way when you do post or when you do the boss mode uh, when you get to the leaderboard people can see what you did to get to that spot and I gotta remember how to do this because this is tricky the jumping with the analog stick is a little rough I do recommend the d-pad here um, and at least the, the Xbox One's d-pad it, it's sufficient it works it's not the best d-pad but uh, you know it's not the best or not the worst and uh, I'm going to just show you the rewind. I did that on purpose to kind of show you. Um, if you fall down, you just hold a little bumper and boom, rewind. All right, so we're going to try to get over here, show you a little bit. I'm gonna, see, there's a little bit of slowdown there, which does occasionally happen. Um, actually, they wanted us to go up here. Um, but it is, it's a, it's a faithful recreation of the NES. It's the original game running on new hardware, which is pretty cool, um, especially for those fans of the uh, you know retro games and playing old NES titles um, again a new or a uh, not a new but to revive what you played as a child uh, for 1999 I don't think it's a bad value um, okay we're gonna rewind here and the reason I think it's a good deal is you know two dollars and fifty cents a game isn't bad I'm trying to play and talk and I do apologize for using that rewind feature but it's not as easy as you think to sit here and, and talk and show off the game. Anyway, so we're going to skip this game since you guys got a good gist of what it is. Um, we're going to go to the next one, which is Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And uh, this was one of my favorite series on the NES. Um, we're going to just skip all this stuff because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played this yet, maybe, or is looking forward to reliving it. You can kind of watch the cutscenes on your own. But as you can see, the gameplay is very flawless, um, and it's still a hell of a good-looking game. A lot of people were a little upset they didn't, they oh, it's, a, it's not worth it, they didn't remaster it. To me, I'd rather play a faithful recreation of the original. I mean, even though, let's let's be faced, this is a ROM. Um, yeah, this is obviously a ROM they put out, but, you know, at least it's an actual Capcom-owned entity, so... You know you're getting quality. You're not going to get something that just someone put up. Um, you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm talking about, I hope. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, pretty fun game. It's uh, All these games are two-player couch co-op. Like back in the day, they didn't have online, so that's not something they added here. Uh, you know, besides the fact that it records all of your time tag 
time when you play a time run it records it and it also records like I said when you do the boss rush modes which is is kind of cool uh, okay so that's our checkpoint here we're gonna we're gonna get out of here um, we're gonna go check out the next one which is tailspin this may be the least favorite game out of the group with a lot of people consensus wise it's a very hard game um, probably the hardest in the bunch here and probably hard because of the controls because as you can see it's a shmup but it's a platformer shmup so it's a it's a, <laughs> it's a little different and uh, the shooting is hmm, it it's slow like that like you know we're gonna we're gonna rewind because I just want to show you the game and it's it's kind of hard to play sometimes when you're you're because if you if you see what I'm what I just did there where you aim is where it shoots so it's and then you tap the button and he goes upside down to shoot behind him but it's not it's not an easy game by any means um, and it's more or less you're fighting control it was a cool idea for a game but it with this controller it's it's a little less desired um, effect sometimes like you want it to go somewhere but uh, it's still a very cool game uh, it's definitely inventive and creative um, considering most of the stuff they put out was pretty much Mega Man clones and you didn't, I didn't want to do that but uh, you know ah, we missed it oh no 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 alright and it is old school so if if you miss an enemy coming at you, they, you, you know they're coming again. Because this game, if you go to the next screen, they're going to bring the enemies back. That, that's just the way it goes. Like I said, a rewind feature does come in handy here. Alright, come on. Come on. This is not an easy game. And I, I mean, yeah, you're probably like, oh, you suck. But trust me it's it's not fun <laughs> all right so we're gonna rewind one more time and I'll show you a little bit more but it's a little bit of me sucking because old you know nostalgia is that and I'm talking to you guys all right we can do this come on I don't know why this thing's so hard sometimes you gotta flip the things and the, the health it's like it's just a crazy game I forgot to turn around. Alright, we're going to call that one. And uh, Like I said, that's my least favorite on here. A lot of most. Uh, Darkwing Duck is probably my second least favorite. Um, only because, unlike other games that they did, when you shoot, you have to stop and you stand still. And I've never understood that. Never liked it. Never cared for it. Um, but the collection's really cool for what it is. I mean, I think the only two games I don't own in this collection are DuckTales 2 and um, I don't have uh, Chippendale 1. I have, no I do have those, never mind. I guess the only one I don't have on the original NES would be, um, but you can see what I'm talking about, you stand still to uh, to shoot here, little Eggman. And you, oh, I forgot, I forgot, where's my cape, alright, I forgot, you gotta do that. This game was one of those ones that was you had you had to shoot them when they're you had your cape to, to block your projectiles or the same thing with them. Son of a bitch. Whew. No, I wanna get that. See? Okay. Alright. That gives us a little bit better. But as you can see, it's uh, very much very much a uh, Mega Man. Uh, I mean, all the Capcom games are pretty much based off the Mega Man engine and, and Mega Man. Um, Alright, we want to turn the lights on. Alright. So we know there's a guy there. Which, we want to try to avoid that guy. Uh, Alright. Alright. Ah! Stupid birds. I wonder if I put my thing up. Nope, that didn't do anything for me there. Oh, come on. Alright. <laughs> so 
Seriously. Alright. It's a fun game. Uh, a lot of these games, you just... Ah, damn it. You, you gotta really... Uh... Of course there's a guy there. Why wouldn't there be a guy there? Alright. And we'll get him. There we go. It's a good game. Uh, the whole collection is, is, is really... It's really awesome, especially, you know, bringing back a lot of the games from the childhood there. And for me, it was worth $20 to have uh, achievements and be able to <laughs> to, to, to play... Uh, The Chip and Dales, sorry. Turn to talk and play. Alright. Well, I guess you guys saw enough Darkwing Duck. We will go to DuckTales 2 here, which, um, you know, like I said before, none of these are remastered. They're all the original um, versions, just ported over. And, uh, alright, so this always reminded me of Jaws every time I see it. Cracks me up. Alright, oop, wrong button. So we're gonna. Just press the start to skip through here. We're going to go to the first bit here. And you can see it's like the first game, but much, much nicer looking. And uh, let's see. I'm going to whack a whack here. And oh, that was supposed to hit him. And it did not hit him, so that's always fun. All right. We're going to hit him here, though. I will say the D pad is definitely a better controller to, or a better scheme to use than. The analog stick, the analog stick doesn't, it's very hard to maneuver the way it should be played anyways. And we're going to do a little sneak through here, we're gonna sneak through there, and we're going to get the big chest, with the extra life, and we're going to bounce over here. Is that Huey? Which one's which? It's hard to tell. Alright, we're going to go down here. And, uh... Yeah. I guess we can't hit that one. Okay. Let's see if I remember this right. Yep. Okay. I'm going to help him out. Alright. We are going to help him out. I promise you we'll help him out. First, we're gonna make a raft. I can't. Yeah, that's how we do it. I was like sitting here trying to remember how to do it. Forget you gotta whack it with the cane here. All right, and we gotta go up here. And they they much improved the jumping in here to get to the next platform there, which. Definitely recommend using the D-pad. All right, so that's the level here. All right, and uh, we got one more game here to check out. And uh, I'm just—I just figured I'd do a commentary just to do a quick run through of kind of what it is. So if you're kind of interested in the games, maybe you know what they look like or what you're gonna expect in this package. Um, this is my favorite game in the entire package. Uh, the one I probably played the most as a kid uh, because my best friend and I used to. Uh, enjoy the co-op on this and we played the hell out of this game this is literally um, probably one of the games that got the most co-op besides Mario um, the Mario franchise obviously um, but this this was my favorite co-op that wasn't a Mario game um, and you can kind of see why it's 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 Mega Man but it's not um, I just rescue rangers were, were pretty awesome when I was a kid, so and they're still awesome now. And uh, yeah, and these guys take two hits. And the thing is, it's funny because in the first game you didn't get enemies in the boxes, and now they now they 
or not now, but in the second game when they upgraded it, they made it a little bit harder on you. And they did stuff like that. And he can hit it back, but we need to get up there. Uh, still my favorite. <laughs> ah, yes, son of a... I guess I just noticed they're a little bit darker. I didn't notice that before. So we wanna... Alright, and through the hole. Alright, I'm gonna play a little bit more of this just to give you a good idea of the level designs here. I thought I could stand on that, what the heck? I guess not. That was uh, totally on me. And, uh, well, we'll call it there. Um, why don't you guys let me know down below what you think of this uh, setup. But, uh, like I said, you have time attack, boss rush mode. And one of the cool things is that I like is when you look at the games, they have the original artwork for the front. And then if you go into uh, music, you can actually play. I like how they do this. They, they have them all. You pick them. You can go down and play anything that's in the whole entire game. You can listen to, the, to every, every soundtrack every boss every level and they do it for every game so it's, it's pretty awesome um, and then another thing I think is kind of cool is they have gallery here and it shows um, like they're designing the game where what they wanted it to look like in game and what they're basing it off of and kind of all their little blueprints here and uh, it's pretty cool you get to see the original artwork that uh, you may not have seen before um, that they're working on but anyways guys I appreciate you checking it out and as you see right here they have the original box art which is front and back the Japanese versions the US versions I mean this is pretty awesome I mean it's not as cool as owning the cartridges in real life but if you were a kid and you had these games it's just nostalgia 1999 in the market right now and uh, if you like these games or this kind of game or you've never played it I highly recommend jumping in now and uh, there you go, guys. That's everything. Uh, hopefully, you know, <laughs> my gameplay didn't bother you too much. My suckish gameplay. Trying to talk and do it is not the easiest thing in the world. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Uh, and uh, if you guys picked it up, if you're going to pick it up, if you had these games, I'd really love to hear from you down below. And don't forget, if you could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, this is Red. I'm out.